lost the match. Not quite as well, though. Not quite as well, and the dart didn't last very long. First leg marks to throw first. Game on. Well, Webby, former Lakeside World Champion, former semi-finalist in the PDC Worlds, former Premier League star, and a man 100. still up there in the world rankings, 23 in the world rankings. Never been a prolific floor player, Mark Webster. Doesn't have a whole host of PDC titles to his name, but it's on the big stages where he's usually produced his best. And even nowadays, where he's obviously had issues with his throw, he's still capable of throwing some fantastic darts. And he's one of those players who... 60. He's got the ability to check out anything at any time. Very good timing. Not like yourself, really, as a, as a dart player. A lovely compliment, Dan. Thank you very much. Well, interestingly enough, 60. Mark went through a spell of a couple of years where he was so prolific all around the world, everywhere apart from Australia, and he can tell you that story. But his one Pro Tour event, and I emphasize 100. that, he's only won one Pro Tour event, and that is astonishing for someone of his talent. Mm. But the one he did win was in Germany, in Bad Nauheim, when he beats... Uh, Richie Burnett in the final. Ah, in an all Welsh clash. Clash of two Welsh former Lakeside world champions. Oh, Sharon will mark that weekend in Bad Nauheim. Needless to say, the state was on him that night. 60. Well, you just get the feeling with Mark that the glory days are still there to be had. The thing he's done in his personal life, he's cracked that. 36. Great family life. Loves living in North Wales. He'll never live anywhere else. Got a great relationship with management, sponsors. He's a great ambassador for the game. Mm, yeah. And you tend not 60. to get any trouble with Mark Webster. He's not going to run his mouth. He's not going to fall out with people. I've seen, seen him in a mood after getting beaten. Oh, hang about. 140. Mark, you've got 121. 121. Treble 17 is a must now. If he can leave it handy, he might get another poke at it. 57. But right. And you require 105. 105. This is the kind of thing he was having a poke out against Brian Woods a few weeks ago. And he's got to go at it. And he he's takes it out. 105 line. check Burn out for Burn Royce. A break of Second throw in the opening leg. Game on. And the 57-year-old chef from Tübingen in Germany goes into the lead. Now, we did see Burnt playing on the European Tour last time out in Saarbrücken. Won his opening game. Beat Brian Woods, beat him in a deciding leg. Then was knocked out by Stephen Bunting. It is James Wade 96. who awaits the winner of this one. Well, the opening leg went the way of many a leg that Bernd Roth has played in his PDC career. What he does is he frustrates you. Six he makes you think that you're just about to win this leg. Then he'll just hit a little score, leave a ton plush finish like that, and just take it out. Well, he's gone ton 40, 105 out there, hasn't he? When he didn't really look like he was challenging in that leg. He's not going to do a Van Gerwen to you. He's not going to outscore you. But he will steer on your heels and he just won't let go. It reminds me sort of, he's like a German Robert Thornton. 100. Well, we have seen Royf at the German Darts Championship as well. He was beaten by Jermaine Watamena in the first round. And that was a game where 95. we had no idea where he was going to try and score, let alone what he was going to score. He started on the 19s and managed to win a leg. Then he moved to the 20s and then lost the next six. But he was going all over the board. He had a spell on the 18s for a brief 100. moment. He just didn't know why. There was, seemed to be no rhyme or reason to it. He's been in and out of form in the last seven years, I think he's been doing the PDC circuit now. I think I met him for the first time in Harlem. 97. 2010, when we used to have pro tour events around Europe. And his game has not really changed in technique 100 he's still oh, got the same things going on but his form dipped a couple of years ago and we thought that maybe we'd seen the last of burnt Royce. 
But he's refocused this year, and we've seen a lot more of him this season than we have in previous ones. James and that, in the second that's leg. important. Mark Webster. Well, with Burton Royce sat on 100, having taken out 105, that might have had to go. Game and that's exactly what Mark Webster has done. A very efficient 117 checkout for the Welshman to level the scores up and get a break back. He can't afford this German crow to get some momentum either. 121. Well, I think we saw that earlier on today, didn't we? Matt Clark and Rene Burnt. Burnt was in a real battle. He kept coming back and nicking legs and drawing level with Matt Clark. And the crowd really did get behind him. They were chanting his name right the way through. And it took some nerveless finishing from Clark. He only missed two darts at double in the entire match. That's what got him over the line in the end. Some... Somewhat oh, man of steel like finishing. Well, you might say that. Someone said to me earlier on, why is he called Superman? Well, isn't it obvious? Matt Clark from Kent. Oh, Matt Clark, Clark, Kent, yeah? Yeah? Like to Superman, yeah? Get it? Yeah? I'm never really sure if it's that good if you have to explain it. No, this is true. A bit like Webby's Sixth nickname. Thing. Spider. Yeah. Something to do with Webby. Yeah, webs. Web, the web, webs, webs, the web, where, oh. Webby. We'll just go with Webby. Burn Royce. They call him Bernie. 100. It's a bit more from the Dave Chisnell school of nicknames. It ain't imaginative, but, you know, kind of work. As long as he stays straight here. Oh, he's done even better than that. Gets down to 80, and Mark Webster in a good position. But Bern Royce, you know, if he does put in a ton 40, like he did in leg one to leave a finish just over 100, then Mark Webster's in a spot of bother, potentially. But it's just a ton, and that probably saves him. Two straight 20s will leave tops. Big 60 leaves double 10. The left hand doesn't double 10. It's too easy for them, isn't it? Oh, no, it isn't. Burns, you recall, 150. Well, you can just see from the expression of Mark there saying, the last thing I wanted to do was split that. At least he's coming back for it. And he does like tops and tens, much like James Wade does. The good thing about Mark, you recall, liking 10. that is that double fives right next to double top. As long as you don't split this one. Game yeah, shot that's all the right. Leg. Mark first rule of double one and double five. Double Get the first one high and hit the first. second one. Game on. Perfectly executed in 2 1 Webster. Well, we have got a former winner here at the Glass Palast on the way this evening. Mervyn King up next against Dimitri Vandenberg. Then it's Big John Henderson, a former finalist on the Euro 60. Tour, against Ron the Bomb Mullenkamp. Two world champions face off in the penultimate game of the night as Jackpot Adrian Lewis faces the bullet Stephen Bunting and Max Hopp. The great hope for German darts will round off the evening against Zoran Lurchbacker, the Austrian plumber. Right now, Mark Webster, another former Lakeside champion, is into the lead for the first time in this match. And we'll, this is where he needs 24. to kind of assert himself. If he can just open up a gap on Burnt Roy, he's going to start feeling like he's in control of the game and he should be able to relax a bit. When Mark relaxes and just plays his own game, he's very destructive. 57. You don't want to see him putting pressure on himself. Well, that's, you know, the throw can break down under pressure. And, and we, we saw the, the World Championship. He went out in the last 16, but he won a couple of games there. And he was very close to going through to the quarterfinals. A fantastic game with Daryl Gurr. Um, that had all sorts. But he's still very, very capable of playing competitive darts. And, and I've spoken to Mark so many times at the end of games at major tournaments. And win or lose, he often comes off saying, look, I know, I know I'm a better player. I believe I'm a better player than my ranking suggests. But 59. my ranking is such that, you know, I, it's down to me to go and prove it and go and win those games to push myself up the rankings. Yeah. Uh, but to do that, with the money weighted so heavily towards people who actually go on and claim 41. titles, you know, when you look at uh, quarterfinal appearances are great, and he's, he's had... A couple of those this year, one on the European Tour, one in Milton Keynes on the Pro Tour. And he's picking up good ranking money for them, like the Pro Tour one, 2,250 quid. Uh, the uh, European Tour, you're getting several thousand pounds for a quarter-final spot. But 
it's significantly more for people who go and win titles. And Mark's never, despite being a world champion, 100. as you say, he's got one PDC title to his name. And so he needs to get back to the stage where he's at least making more semis and finals and doing it on a more regular basis to be able to climb up those rankings. Because you can, 57. there's opportunities to move up. But look at the guys who are actually winning things out and they're still not in the top 16. You know, Norris and Gurney on the outskirts of it. Gerwin Price, who's knocking on the door. 70. That's a good setup from Mark. And you recall 158. Providing Burn doesn't take up this 158, then Mark should really take a two leg lead. Not an easy shot, this. Aptly proved by Burnt Roy. Well, nothing's 60. easy. Mark, you recall 40. Double top shrinks when you're under pressure a bit. And he couldn't hit it last time. But he hits it and this time. That's lane. clinical. Mark Webster. And he's keeping this German crowd nice and quiet. And that's why he wants to keep them. Rufus. Game on. Let's well, see it. Can you believe it's nearly 10 years since Mark Webster won his Lakeside World title against Whitlock in the final? It is quite some time. Much water has passed under the bridge. 93. But when you look at look at what he's achieved in the PDC, I mean, I know I've mentioned twice that he's only won one PDC title, but you look at his runs in the major tournaments. I mean, the match play, he's made the quarterfinals, Grand Prix semi-finals, UK Open semi-finals, quarterfinal of the Grand Slam of Darts three times. 99. You know, he's, he's found a way so often to win big games for big money under big pressure against big players. I remember him Poe going around the stage at Ali Pali having beaten Phil Taylor at the Worlds. And he did that. He was joining a very, very exclusive club to beat Phil Taylor at the World Championship when he did it. I know more people have done it since. Not many more, but some more. Yeah, he still holds the uh, Welsh hurdles record. <laughs> Just a little bit over Colin Jackson. That was a great hurdling performance when he beat Phil. Almost as good as the high jump performance when he beat... Australia in the World Cup back in 2010. 59. I think he jumped over my shoulder. Just like a celebration when he wins a big match, and there's nothing wrong with that. Absolutely not. 133. Burnt Roy. Mark's thinking minimum ton here. He'll take 97 off you. 59. But he knows that that doesn't put much pressure on what Burns got left. Because if Burns can hit a 1 3 4 here, I think he's got two of those. Single 20. <laughs> Do Wait, not don't... hit the treble. Do not hit the treble. Do not hit the treble, Burns. Burns. Mark Listen Webster... to me, Burns. Mark Webster's saying hit the treble. Actually, you know what? It would be quite funny. Yeah, George, don't, don't hit the treble, Brian. I'm not sure he's allowed to give that advice. He is not. It's a good point. There we go, nearer tops. Nearer tops, a lot safer. That's the way to go. Leave yourself double ten. Just to clarify, the referee can tell you what you have. But not how scored, to get it. Not how to get it. But 60. if Burnt were to say, if I hit treble 20 there, 20. will I bust my score? George will be able to go, yeah. And he's just told him he's won that leg. And it's a break back. And Burnt Royce, a 13 darter there. Six leg Burnt to throw first. Game on. And it's come after that wonderful setup shot. And he's back in this game. And that, to be honest, with Webster having gone 3 1 up there and Royce not really doing a great deal, and the, the three legs that he'd won on the spin, you kind of felt that you know, the crowd were quieting down. Webster was in control of the situation. But once again, Burnt Royth has just found something from somewhere, just one visit in a leg, which has turned it in his favour. And he does just sort of niggle away at you. It's not often you see a set-up shot of 154. Not often. But Burnt Royth is no normal dark player. You could argue there are no normal dark players. 97. I think Mark's just got to try and find his first dart again. It seems to be evading him, and he's searching for scores. 
Whereas Burnt really starting to warm up a little bit. 99. He could be looking at an even game in a minute. Which I think favours the German ever so slightly at this point. 47. Well, look, Mark Webster was the pre-game favourite. He will still be the favourite right now. But the longer Burnt Royf keeps it tight, the more doubts may creep in. And the crowd 100. may play more of a factor in this. And we know that Mark's throw, as games go on, can cause him problems. I haven't seen him snap out of it almost immediately. 44. It's, it's, a, uh, it's a, a, a baffling thing to predict. 419s leaves double 16. <laughs> no score. Oh boy. We just mentioned that he could have bust a 174. Well, he's bust 108. <laughs> just when you think you've seen it all. <laughs> well, what, what Burn has done there, I, I wasn't giving him the advice that I gave him in the previous leg, right? Explicitly told him not to bust. And he listened to me. I assumed he was all over that. He was in control of the situation. He wasn't. Well, at least he can't bust now, it this time. <laughs> but he's not going to take it out. And you never know. It might offer Webster, a, particularly Forty now, one. offer him a way back into this leg. A leg that he was absolutely nowhere near. I mean, Burnt scored an extra 114 points that hasn't even registered in this leg. Whoa, and look no, at that no, from Mark no, Webster. Easy, he's Burnt, Burnt Roy. He's just put in one visit in the leg that has turned it around. That's only two. Is it fifth? Well, he's, I can't believe he's gone that way. I cannot believe he has gone for the 25. I don't get it. I really don't. In games like this, fine margins make all the difference. You've got 65 left. Don't gamble. Go for a 15. Guarantee your shot at the bullseye. Argue requires 16. Because he's made that mistake, he now... Gives Mark Webster a shot at double eight for a leg he really shouldn't have won. And, and he has won it. And a break of throw Mark at that, Webster. extending the lead to two when it could have been a level game and busting 108 and then that decision not to go for 15 ball. I mean, he could have hit the trouble 15 and gets a dart at a double Mark anyway, but it's an insurance policy. Because 25, even if he'd thrown a great dart at the bullseye, he could have hit the ball itself and he still doesn't get a dart. It's... I just think that it's, it's not a sensible shot. There's plenty of things that can go wrong with it. It's mathematic fundamentals in darts. It's, there's such a thing as backing yourself to hit certain shots, but then in those situations, just give yourself a chance. All you need is one dart to win a leg, and he didn't give himself that opportunity. And it may well be the moment that turns this match because had Burnt Royth come from 3-1 down to make it 3-all with Webster struggling and he, I mean he could have won that leg by 250 points Burnt Royth had he not bust 108 in the first place oh it's Burnt back playing on the 19s 133 and he's actually very effective on the 19 it's like one of those guys who play down the club and he goes straight to 19s and he's wearing a jacket <laughs> and you think oh not one of these guys yeah. but Ordinarily, 100. they just seem to hit everything. Yeah. And he's back down there again. Loves the 19. Well, he's beaten four people to get to this point. Mark Webster has only beaten two. 41. I mean, and he's beaten him much more recently as well, yeah. obviously. The, the qualifiers last night. So he's got competitive action in the last 24 hours, which has got to be an advantage, you think. 100. Yeah, Webby beat... Nathan Aspinall 6-5 to get through and Ryan Searle. Bernd Reuth, Mike Holtzler 6-0, Nico Schlunt, Fabian Hertz who has played on the European Tour before and Michael Hosler 6-1 who was the person who took out Martin Schindler. Mm. Although he will see Shindy in Gibraltar come through the European qualifier. But look at this from Webster. Double top for 108 checkout. His second time plus in a match. Ooh, 68. Dear. Burn to require Hit the red bit, not the number. 36. Surely Burn Royth isn't going to take this out. I say surely. Because he might on double eight. Burn Royth yeah. just produces yeah. these visits from nowhere. Burn Royth. Hey, Burn Burn to throw it's like David Copperfield sometimes. You just don't know how he does it. It comes from nowhere, like you see it. 
and Webby went back to the table for a drink of water and he thought it's alright I'm coming back he didn't and it's now 4-3 and we're back on 100. four. well Adart missed at tops for a 5-2 lead and again Bernd Roif has found a way to just sort of nip at the heels of Mark Webster and cause problems 96 a man who bust 108 with two darts the previous leg has just taken out 136 but it's as we said about Steve Beaton in the very first game today. 17. Steve Beaton was beaten by Ulf Seeder, the Finn, making his Euro Tour debut. He played some solid stuff, average 94. But Beaton was averaging round about what Mark Webster's averaging right now. And Beaton, despite his, you know, his experience will tell him, if you go out and you average those sort of numbers, you're in danger of getting beaten. It doesn't matter who you're up against. Yeah, whether they played before or not. Ulf Seeder was very impressive. You know so long his points were... It, they, they, were, they were longer than Vincent Camphouse's inside leg measurement. That is, a, that is a big leg. Look at those checkout stats. Bernd Roy, 100%. 57. Well, this is in the balance, this leg. All depends on the next visits as to who's going to have the ascendancy going towards the finishes. 43. A reminder, it is the number six seed, the multiple major champion James Wade, who awaits the winner of this one. 59. Well done, it's Cinco de Mayo today, Mexican holiday. Who's going to be having the chips and guacamole? After this game, we have no idea. It's tense stuff. And it all seems to be tense with Bernd Royf. I watched the game he had with Brian Woods in Zarbrücken. He could have cut the atmosphere with a cheese knife. Well, certainly the crowd were a big factor in that one. Brian Woods didn't help himself, truth be told. Mark Webster. Well, Mark Webster, I mentioned his game with Davil Gurney at the World Championship. 65. And it was actually Gurney who got on the wrong side of the crowd. And, and Webster was doing his level best to use it to his advantage and admitted it afterwards. But Bernd Royth is now looking at double 18 to level a match. Danger. And he takes it out. A 93 checkout for Bernd Royth to add to the 136 and 105 he took out in the first leg. And he is still 100% on the doubles. We saw. Steve West earlier on missed only a single dart at double oh, in his 6-2 victory over Chris Doby. Bernd Royth is surpassing even that right now in terms of the percentage. Yeah, we've had some good doubling today, haven't we? Some excellent stuff. Yeah. Jan Decker was 66%. James Richardson oh, and Matt Clark only missed two darts each. And they were both 75%ers, weren't they? Mm. Webby launching himself at the board along with a dart. Oh, and Easy, is that the crowd Thank you. getting involved with the game or something else amongst, might be amongst themselves or it might be trying to turn it in their favour. No, I think they've just got something else going on. 140. I did say to Mark before the game began, he's just got to play his own stuff. He's always going to have the crowd against him. 60. Thank you. Best of order, please. Thank you. Referee George Norville mm. doing his level best to keep the rambunctious crowd in their seats and quiet, but this is Germany. This is the European tour, and the German guy's on stage. Easy for Well, we did say if he could keep this close, Bernd Roy, the likelihood of the crowd getting involved and becoming more of a factor increased. And it certainly is now, as we get down to the final two and a half legs of this. 58. And Mark Webster is struggling a little bit. However, credit to Webby, he's keeping it together. He's not engaging with the crowd, because that'll only make it worse. He lives, you know, he's well aware. He's an experienced man up on the big stage. Here. And every treble for Bernd Reuf is being cheered by the German crowd here in Sindelfingen. The 156 won't go for Mark Webster. But 
He leaves himself a simple two darter. Bernd Royth could do this in two darts, and he has been finishing spectacularly. Don't miss the big number. Don't bust it, Bernd. <laughs> he's hit the tops again. You never know what he's going to hit. Double eight. He's not missed a double yet. Oh, 16. but now he has. Oh, and a gift for Webster. But is Thank it one you. he can take? Could be key. If Mark can take this. Amongst the boos. Double ten. For the advantage. The advantage is Webby's. No, no reaction. Very, very mature. Because if he reacts there, first. the crowd will be on his Gable. back for the final two legs. Rest assured. Mark did the right thing. And Royf straight back to the hockey. I think that's the fastest I've ever seen him get back to the hockey. Well, look. That is pretty impressive stuff from Mark Webster and under massive pressure. Because this is a game that, you know, he would expect himself to win and he knew he was the favourite. 96. Doesn't want to be the only victim of one of the host nation qualifiers on the opening day of the Happy Bet European Darts Grand Prix. And of course, he wants to give himself a chance of taking on James Wade tomorrow and potentially booking his place in the final day of action. But Bernd Roy, with just little spells, little visits here and there, that have managed to win legs, some of them spectacular, some of them spectacularly hilarious, but some of them spectacular enough to turn those legs in his favour, has given the crowd enough to get them excited, get them involved, and potentially help him over the line in this one. It may still not be enough, but it just might. 60. Well, the amount of times in the last few legs where Bernd Royth has hit at treble 20 or a treble 19 with the very last dart, apart from the last visit, of course, has been incredibly regular. And that annoys you being his opponent. 98. Because just when you think he's going to hit a 41 or a 60 or a 58, he winds up hitting a ton or a 96. Well, he needs a ton here to get to a finish. And that isn't going to happen. So Mark Webster knows 45. that he can close this out without any stress of a final last leg decider if he can take out 167 in a couple of visits. And that's a big help. Huge dart. Oh, and a massive good one. He can breathe. I fancy Bernd Reuth isn't going away without a fight. 19's now. Needs to leave. A handy number. 58. Burton Royth has taken out 136. Oh, He's left 157. He may not get a go at it because Webby has got two darts at tops. Double 10. He's hit it a couple of times in this match. But he does not hit it there. It is two match darts missed by Mark Webster. Can Burnt Royth produce another rabbit out of the hat? He might do. What an astonishing shot this would be. What an astonishing shot this would be. Burnt Royth tops. Oh, <laughs> 137. My word. Mark, you require 20. That was one out of the Jeffrey de Graff playbook for a slip dart. Two tens, they're both on the same double. Webby gets the first poke at it. In the lion's den. He's got one more shot to win 6-4. And he hits it. The crowd all sit down. And, the match. and a respectful Mark Webster. Mark Webster waves his hand to Burnt Royce. 